Christmas this year is truly wonderfully warm as the Blackpink girls have dedicated the best gifts to their fans. On Christmas Eve midnight, Jisoo treated fans to a vlog showcasing her pastry decorating skills. Aside from witnessing her talent, fans couldn't help but laugh as she humorously dissed her own pastry. While her sense of humor makes Blink's day, her mind never fails to amaze them. Jisoo's vlog has a duration of 1225, and she posted it exactly on December 25th at midnight KST. She always has the most meaningful gifts to give to her beloved fans. Meanwhile, just like her sister Jenny, Lisa, who has recently made history as the first Asian artist to surpass 100 million followers on Instagram, has brought a sweet and heartfelt Christmas cover of the song My Only Wish This Year by Britney Spears to those who love her. Lisa not only amazes us with her beauty, ushering in the era of her angelic vocals, but she also proves herself to be a promising and talented actress. Effortlessly, Lisa portrays a girl in love wandering the romantic streets of the city of love, with her her only Christmas wish being to have her loved one by her side. The entire cover feels like a music video, with everything presented with heart, creativity, and top-notch quality. Fans became even more excited when Grammy-nominated producer and songwriter Shintaro Yasuda joined Lisa in this special project. However, despite the enthusiasm for this wonderful Christmas gift, many netizens believe that Lisa's cover is dedicated to her rumored boyfriend, Frederick Arnault. Some even pointed out that it seems Fred made a cameo appearance in some scenes of Lisa's MV. However, the truth is that the Riverbank couple scene is merely an artistic representation for the MV, and Lisa's supposed boyfriend who gives roses to her at the end of the MV is actually a girl with long hair, likely none other than Alice. This humorous scene even left Rosé extremely excited, especially upon learning who Lisa's boyfriend is. Meanwhile, alongside the wonderful gifts that Blackpink girls have prepared for the fans, the confirmation of Jenny establishing her own label, Aude Atelier, has also attracted a lot of attention this Christmas season. It is known that Jenny has been registering various categories for her new company. Alongside fans, many renowned global newspapers and celebrities have expressed excitement over this information. Jay Park even jokingly asked Jenny to sign him under her new label, OA. While awaiting the hiring decision from CEO Jen Duki, fans are feeling envious of the first employees of OA. It seems like managers Allison, Jayamin, Hosoop, and stylist Park Min Hee all moved to OA with Jenny. The way Jenny treats her team and staff reflects her kindness, leading to strong loyalty. Her manager and staff members are so dedicated that they've chosen to leave YG and join Jenny's established record label. Meanwhile, apart from Jenny's team, Saram and Becky have also been found following Jenny's new label on Instagram, sparking rumors that OA is a joint venture between Jenny and Jisoo. Earlier, the Korean media reported that Jenny and Jisoo had established their own company. However, Jisoo has not made any official announcement, and it could be due to Sarum and Becky's existing contracts with YG Entertainment still being valid. This speculation appears to have a basis, especially when only Rose and Lisa posted about the after-party following the finale concert at a building believed to be the headquarters of Jenny and Jisoo's new label, Odd Atelier. The captions from Shia Lisa at that time now seem to make more sense. What are your thoughts on this? 